one game I actually forgot to mention that uh, I didn't see at E3 was Final Fantasy XIII Versus. I, I actually looked for it, and I didn't see it. Um, apparently, I'm an idiot because it was there. People told me it was there. Um, but I have seen it. I uh, Sean Faust was actually very good to hook me up with a couple of uh, trailers for it, uh, and I believe at least one gameplay fo- uh, segment of gameplay footage. Um, actually, you know what? I was, I was very impressed with Final Fantasy XIII Versus um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, actually, the the it, I don't believe it actually follows the characters of the original thirteen at all, which is good. Um, it really is one of the most graphically stunning game trailers I've ever seen. Uh, Final Fantasy thirteen stands is probably the benchmark, the high the the high watermark for for amazing graphics on the PS three. It really um, as much as I give Final Fantasy thirteen shit, it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um and final fantasy 13 versus is no exception if you see that trailer i don't have it but if you look for it it's good it is very good and the reason i'm i'm actually very enthusiastic about versus because um and this is going to sound silly but um the the gameplay looks really good because the gameplay is not at all similar to 13 and 13 2 where you have the auto battle option which i think is one of the biggest uh the biggest mistakes ever programmed into a game i know what they were going for with the paradigms and actually i kind of dug it for a little while until i realized that the game's kind of playing itself at some point you know with the, with the auto battling um i i, I can understand i can understand that you know, there's there's a logic to it. Like, if you see a fire monster, it's weak to ice. So your characters are smart enough to realize this, so you push the button and they cast ice. I get that. I get the fact that they want to make the combat fast and fluid and responsive. And you only want to manage one character, and they don't want to slow it down and turn-based and make you make, you know, the same obvious choice over and over and over again. Really, I understand this. I understand the auto battle concept. You know, if, if there's a monster you face with a weakness, it's always going to have that weakness. So why not just have the characters cast that spell with the that exploits the weakness over and over again? Well, that's a good point. I mean, and I'm not sure how to how to rebut that, except for the fact that then why do you need me? You know, um, it, it it's kind of like why why involve the player at all? It it, it, it I guess my argument there is don't remove the decision making from the player, make a better game. Um, I, I'm probably not explaining it as well as I should, but um, when it comes to the auto battling, I've just played so many games where there, there, there are there are tactics and there is thinking involved with turn based you know turn based strategy. Um, and I keep going back to Persona 4, or any of the Persona games, really, uh, you know, Persona 3 and 4, um, where you there, there is some significant decision-making to be had, um, depending on what, you know, what Personas that you've, you've unlocked and what characters you select, um, you know, your basic loadout for these things. And there's a, there's a lot of decision-making to be had where you don't necessarily have to auto-battle. Although, what's funny is in Persona, um, your characters do auto-battle until you turn that option off. And you know what I usually do is I turn that option off. Um, I just like having that control. And I don't think it makes a worse game being able to choose what your characters do and when they do it. Um, it just it just kind of feels like the game is playing itself. But anyway, um, when it comes to 13 Versus, the combat looks surprisingly fast and fun. And it feels like you have input. And the reason why is because the combat looks and feels almost exactly like Kingdom Hearts. And I know I'm oversimplifying that fact, and I know you may think I'm saying that like it's a bad thing, but I'm not. Um, in fact, it seems rather logical um, that this game kind of goes into an action RPG style uh, style of play. I, I wanted to see that kind of gameplay branch out into other storylines and other settings, and so it's actually very exciting to see what's come of, uh, what will become of Final Fantasy XIII Versus. Um... And, and really, what I'm most excited about, and what I'm always excited about in any RPG, is the story. And um, 
where it comes down to it, um, probably my biggest disappointment, like, the paradigms I could get over. You know, I found it too easy. I found the paradigms... Th that was my big problem with the paradigms in, in 13 was it made the game too easy. All I had to do is just kind of watch. I, I had to, you know, I made a paradigm where somebody tanked and drew damage, and whenever anybody got in trouble, I switched to a healing paradigm. So it was, you know, it was, it was kind of offensive with a tank, heal until I'm out of trouble, go back to offensive with a tank. Um, it, it really didn't even, I, didn't, I never broke a sweat. In fact, I barely had to look at the screen most times. And there's a problem when you can do that, when you just kind of fall into that same rut of, of doing that over and over again. And... What, what really disappointed me with 13 was the story. The story was obtuse. It was hard to get into. It was hard to understand. It required reading on my part. Um, and it was just poorly told. It was boring and poorly told. And um, if the story was good, one can forgive a lot. Um, and I, I think that was my main complaint. And it's been my complaint with Final Fantasy for a long time, is that the stories are just poorly told. You know, they're either annoying, you know, they have annoying characters, people don't act like human beings, or the story is just so monolithic and indecipherable, it's impossible to relate to. And so, once again, I never really, I didn't get, really get an impression of the story of, of 13 Verses, but I'm hoping it's good, because I know they can tell good stories. Um, they haven't in a while, but uh, yeah, I, I, I felt I had to make this kind of postscript to to the 13.2 review just to explain my thinking and to, to, to at least try to give like a, a more fair, less ragey analysis of what I'm going for. And the fact that I actually am, I am not down on every Final Fantasy game because I am looking forward to 13 verses.